This is uh, going to be the dissection of the uh, blood vessels of the rat. So we'll start here at the heart, uh, and you can see a big red blood vessel coming out right here. That's the aorta, and the aorta forms this arch shape that goes over the top right there. So that's called the aortic arch. Now, the first blood vessel right here that exits that aorta is called the brachiocephalic trunk, and the brachiocephalic trunk only goes for a short distance right here before it splits into the right common carotid artery and the right subclavian artery. I'm gonna push this blood vessel, this vein out of the way. So the right subclavian artery is right there. So subclavian means below the clavicle. So this guy goes off to the arm, uh, whereas the common carotid goes up here and eventually splits to supply the brain. Then the second blood vessel that branches off of that aortic arch is the left common carotid. So left common carotid exits by itself as does the left subclavian artery. So there's three things emerging from the aorta, from the aortic arch, brachiocephalic trunk, which bifurcates into the right common carotid and the right subclavian. Then we've got the left common carotid and the uh, left subclavian. All right, we're, I flipped the rat around, uh, so examine the other direction. Hopefully that's not too confusing, but if you can see right here, that's our aortic arch again. So what I want to do is look underneath all of these organs, and you don't have to move that, it's fine. And you can see right down here, this is that aorta as it continues down through the thorax, so you call that the thoracic, uh, or you could call it descending aorta, but either one's fine. It's descending as long as it's going towards the butt. Uh, as it passes the diaphragm, the diaphragm has been kind of chewed up here, but this is the diaphragm that separates the thorax from the abdomen. The uh, thoracic aorta becomes the abdominal aorta. So once it gets past that diaphragm, it's abdominal aorta. And now we can see some blood vessels emerging here uh, in sequence again. This first blood vessel, this is called the celiac trunk, and the celiac trunk ultimately splits into a few other arteries, but you don't have to know them on the rat. Then you've got this one called the superior mesenteric. The superior mesenteric supplies the, uh, a lot of the mesentery of the small intestine. The next to branch off, and you'd see it on the right side as well, but you can see this little red blood vessel right here. That's the, that's the renal artery. So the renal artery supplies the kidneys. That makes perfect sense. Uh, as that abdominal aorta continues to go down here, it ultimately splits into two blood vessels, which you can see forking right here. Uh, this one on the right, this one on the left. This is the, these are the right and left common iliac arteries. Right there, all right. Iliac means the, the ilium of the hip. So this is the, the blood vessels that branch at about the level of the hip. They'll actually continue in a straight line and become the femoral arteries uh, when, it, when they get around the area of the femur. Now let's go over a couple of the, of the veins here as well. Uh, this big blue vein right here in the middle, this is the inferior or posterior, because we're on a rat, posterior vena cava. This is a renal vein as it drains blood from the kidneys. Uh, the common iliac veins are these guys. They branch just like, just like the... Uh, the aorta did, so they're actually coming back the other way, keep in mind, right? So this, this is the left common iliac and this is the right common iliac vein. Uh, the femoral vein would have been extended down into the, to the legs, just like the other guy. Now, when we get up here to the level of the, of the, in the thorax, we're gonna be looking at, and I'll try to tip it here so we can see it, hold on back in here uh, so you see that there's this is this right in here I don't know if you can see it you probably can't so this right yeah this blue blood vessel right here this is still that inferior that posterior vena cava so that's still bringing blood back from the the lower part of the body above the heart or anterior to the heart you'd have the uh, superior vena cava so the superior vena cava is this big blood vessel right here, and uh, 
it is uh, connected up here to the jugular veins. Let me see if I can even identify them here. They're kind of chopped up. This is a this is a jugular vein over here, and it becomes the jugular. So this would be jugular vein up here. All right, good.